My name is Aviv. I'm founder and CTO at XFind. And at XFind, we're uh, <laughs> changing the way companies utilize knowledge and insights in what we call, using what we call our contextual intelligence engine. So essentially what we do is we connect to all of our customers' knowledge. And this can be anything from Slack channels to knowledge bases and CRMs. We process all that data and we feed it into our contextual en intelligence engine. Uh, and this allows us to bring our customers accurate information in context to whatever it is they're doing uh, with analytics and insights without them having to tag it or search for it. Uh, but, but supporting all those knowledge sources created a problem for us because uh, instead of having our data science team focus on our, co our core algorithms and models, they had to focus on transforming that data for each new customer and that all those new customers, they always use those data sources a bit differently. And our data science team had to transform that data into a single format that we can use, so that we can fit, feed into our system. So uh, naturally, we look for a solution, something that will enable our non-coders or analysts to uh, create, modify, and uh, run those data processing pipelines all by themselves, independently of the data science team. Uh, so uh, they can be <laughs> much more independent and on their own and not bother our data science team with uh, every new customer that comes and needs to be onboarded. Uh, so what, we'll, what I'm going to present here in the next couple of minutes is just our, our solution. And uh, we've made it much a lot simpler, so it'll be much clearer for this uh, presentation. Uh, so let's say we have three data sets. Sorry about that. Uh, and we want to use them uh, in our, um, we want to feed it into our uh, database. Uh, so we need to transform it. Uh, and those databases, they come a bit different. I mean, they format it a bit differently. We have uh, fields that have HTML tags in them in some of the data sets, uh, others don't. And of course, we want to transform them into a single format that we can use. Uh, and uh, that's classic ETL, right? But again, we want to make sure that our non-coders are able to uh, run that by themselves and, and uh, all, do all this uh, pipeline by themselves without having to disturb our data science team. So what we did is we created a couple of files and we took all our data processing pipeline, data processing functions, and we placed them in those files so they can easily be invoked. For example, here we have the clean HTML function that just removes HTML tags. We got a format name, format tags. And uh, then we defined a YAML file uh, as a mapping from old fields to new fields. Uh, and we added the functions uh, list that we can just invoke functions one after another uh, and uh, change that change the field to whatever we need uh, for our database structure. Uh, so for example, we had the, uh, if we had a text field and in some data sets that came with HTML, we could just remove it by invoking the clean HTML function. Or uh, if we want to create a new field with uh, entities from that text field, all we have to do is write those couple of lines in our YAML file, invoke our extract entities function, and that was about it. Uh, so essentially what we did was we enabled our analyst in our uh, non-coders to create those YAML files easily and run our data processing functions for all new customers without having to uh, uh, bother our data science team. And that saved us a lot of time uh, and allowed our data science team to focus on what's important for the company because we're a small company and that's time matters. And, um, and so, so that's exactly what we did. We, create, we, allowed, we made that happen. Uh, and I, I know this is a bit ab abstract and quick, so I have a link to our sample project on GitHub. Uh, which can be, and this use, this can be extended and modified infinitely. Uh, and we have, we were using it for a lot of things. Uh, so thank you for listening. Uh, here's the link. Uh, and if you're interested in what we're doing at XFind, uh, feel free to go to our website and uh, check us out. Thank you.